Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn Code with Nav. In the previous video, we have seen then how we can put one CSV file in our REST endpoint and process that file and save that information into the DB using Spring Boot, Spring Data JPA, and MySQL. For which we have written one REST endpoint slash files slash upload. It will accept one request param named as file, it which will accept one multi-part file, which is nothing but the CSV file. And that CSV file can contain any data, any number of data. In my case, I do have 25,000 records. If I will look into this Excel, it will it has contained 25,000 record. So what it has done is it uh, accept my file process that file and saving those information into the DB using a Spring Boot MySQL and Spring Data JPA for which uh, we have created one service REST controller interact with service and service contain one method has CSV format it is checking whether the file which we are getting from the REST endpoint is from CSV format if it is not from CSV then we are se we are sending an expectation failed status and saying message please upload csv file if it is a csv file then it will process and save all the information in the database and we have already validate that all the information is inserted into database as well if i will look into this latest one 85000 is the id and uh, these all are then in record has been inserted successfully now agenda of this session is I want to read all the data from the database and generate CSV file using the Spring Boot, Spring Data JPA and MySQL for which uh, let's go into the code since it is fetching the data from the database so it should be the get mapping <coughs> instead of upload it will be URL will be download we are generating one CSV file from the database and giving back to the user now we will write method method should be public so that it can be accessible from anywhere else return type should be response entity of type response message name of the method is download file so first first step I need to do is I need to load the data from the database and then then those data will be processing and give back to the attachment as a file name let's see how we can do it let's create one method of file service dot load which will does not have any argument into it and it will return me byte array byte array input stream and it should be file data service dot load now let me create this method in type service let me stop the server for now let me do the coding part first overwrite this method in implementation of service first uh, fetch the data from repository as we injected user repository here yes use the same reference here and get the find all it will give me the list of user which is almost 25,000 it this line number 68 will give me the 25,000 record and uh, pass this let me write one more method byte array input 
stream stream is equal to let me convert users to csv it will accept list of users let me create this method first in this method first we need to create a csv format csv format how we can do it dot default dot with code mode cured not minimal it will give me the csv format object rename as format once it runs let try to create an object of byte array output stream to new byte array now let me create a csv printer object csv printer is equal to csv printer is equal to new csv printer first will accept print writer object new print writer it will accept byte array output stream reference and format will be format of the csv format okay they are saying use are you exception use catch block for catching the exception okay now in try block what we are trying to do is we are saying we are getting users from this method parameter let use for each loop user user users now iterate all users one by one and create list arrays as list a string dot value of user dot get id user dot get height user dot get weight it will give me a list of strings or we can call this data now we have create csv printer object use that object reference and call print record and pass this data into it and return this stream to the byte array input stream now we are calling load method load method is fetching the data from database and converting it into the byte array input stream now let's convert byte array input stream into the input stream resource how do we do that input stream 
रिसोर्स रिसोर्स इज इक्वल टू न्यू इनपुट स्ट्रीम रिसोर्स एंड इट विल एक्सेप्ट फाइल डेटा दिस इज बेसिकली एक्सेप्ट बाई टेरे इनपुट स्ट्रीम लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट वी नीड टू रिटर्न रिस्पॉन्स एंटिटी एंड सेम ओके डॉट हैडर हैडर विल कंटेंट एस टी टी पी हैडर्स डॉट कंटेंट डिस्पोजिशन ओके एंड देन से we want attachment semicolon file name dot contain type we need to specify contain type what is the contain type you are expecting in the response then i am saying media type dot parts media type application slash csv csv okay and finally say in the body i would need resource which is nothing but file so basically response message should be resource here yeah. and it is coming from core io now what we have done is first um, uh, let me resummarize what was our requirement is fetching all the data from database and process them and generating the csv file so what we have done is we have created one get rest send point saying whenever you will hit this url method type is get then this method will be executed this method firstly will do is it will call load method and load method will give us byte array input stream and the responsibility of load method is getting all the record from the database and converting those record to csv using this business logic and finally return me a byte array input stream once you got byte array input stream and convert those byte array input stream to input stream resource and this resource will be put here as a body so that we will get the file downloaded and the file name you need to pass here so that the file name let me give the file name as well is stream file name is equal to let's say i want this file as a users dot csv or you can say users data dot csv and give this file name here okay this is our service interface this is our implementation class of service this is response message what we are expecting to do this is application dot properties file and this is our main method right click here run as java application wait to make our server up and running now tomcat started on port 8080 now go to there instead of upload it will be download method should be get let me hit send request we are getting internal server error let me run again and go to the web browser and hit the same url again and see what we can do
now we are able to download the file if i will go into my download folder and see this is the name which we have defined here in our controller user data dot csv it this is data is coming data is coming as expected thank you for watching this video in case if you like this one please do subscribe and press the bell icon for further notification thank you for watching